Love the Hawksmoor. Yeah, I thought this was a really nice, wholesome tweet Hawksmoor put out in preparation for the openings of restaurants and bars on Saturday, the 4th of July. What a great time to open a restaurant and a bar, right? Objectively speaking, 4th of July. Of course, we don't celebrate, you know, Independence Day, but it falls on a Saturday. That's the thing that I really is curious about when it comes to the America's uh, approach or North America's approach to coronavirus, right? They are such... A jovial nation right they love a good celebration they love a good holiday they love a good public holiday right you'd assume some of the politicians would use that as a carrot of being like hey guys if you're on your best behavior if we really try and knock this thing out of the park and just hang hunker down lock down get everything in order we could beat this or kind of stem the tire so that i can open a few places that would be sick in it but it didn't do that it just completely ignored it like ah, it'll go away if i don't pay attention to it it'll go away but it's, it's the kind of equivalent of putting your head in the sand essentially right hoping it would go away and it, and it hasn't and then now they've got an actual reason to go outside right with fourth of july weekend coming up and they can't go outside because you know they flipped they, they messed up and i guess we have the same sort of responsibility looming over our heads too as you know citizens of this great united kingdom that we live in we need to really be responsible when we go out there so i guess if you're going to be in a club i guess if you're going to go to a pub this weekend tr you shouldn't be sitting indoors right try your best to take your drinks outside uh, you know it's really lovely weather out there now you know make sure you social distance and all that good stuff and just enjoy your drink and enjoy the company of your friends and being surrounded by the ambience of strangers that's that's enough isn't it you don't need to be sitting indoors in a pub or something if you want to go to a restaurant fair enough do your thing but in a pub it's just not necessary because you spend way more time in a pub than doing a restaurant i'd imagine on average right on average how long do people spend in restaurants like an hour hour 30 in a pub must be like two hours depending on what kind of group or the amount of people in your groups we really owe to ourselves we can't mess this up man we really can't. And Hawksmoor gave us a good, um, a good little uh, tweet thread about the importance of restaurants and the the place they serve in society. And I want to read it to you now. This is a, a run of tweets from the Hawksmoor now. It says the following. Oh, again, if you don't know the Hawksmoor, they're a really exquisite steakhouse. They have a couple of restaurants in London, a few outside of London too. I went to the one in Manchester, I went to the one in London. Like, exquisite. One of the best restaurants I've been to. Probably the, one of the biggest reasons why... I would go back and work for a corporation, right? When I used to work at Nike, that's a f one of the places that we went to, to go, you know, our kind of end of quarter team bonding thing. That's a good thing about working for a corporation, right? They uh, give your manager um, a, a bank card and essentially tell them, hey, if you want to do a bit of corporate bonding, you can do it on our dime. And it doesn't really matter where you go. Just make sure you invoice us. Or just, just make sure you expense it all. And it's just like, it's beautiful, isn't it? And, you don't, and again, you don't have to expense it. You just have to just take their card and use that all the drinks that you want it's flipping amazing that was that was literally the only that and the discounts at nike was one of the best things about it everything else was nah not the best experience but hey look at me now so it continues this is a friend it says um the hooks London says the following in advance of this weekend and our subsequent reopening on the 9th at borough i thought it might be worth reintroducing you to the concept of a restaurant so restaurants a fred lovely picture there of hooks in um what's that place called in shoreditch Boom, so the following. A restaurant serves food uh, made by professionals who are trained all their lives to make it well. There's lots of choices, but the best bit is that what you want to eat for dinner on Friday wasn't decided 10 days previously on Sainsbury's.com, but 15 minutes before based on what you want. Yeah, very true. You've got a lovely picture here of all the goodness there from Hawksmoor. Poached egg on sourdough. You've got, what's that? Uh, what was that thing called again? Um, when they serve it and it's bloody hell, what's that called? A steak? Sunday brunch, whatever it's called. You've got a bit of cod there. You've got steak and fries. Not sure what that is on the left. And then you've got a tiramisu there, something else. So just a lovely plate of food, right? Gorgeously done. Next tweet. In fact, you don't have to shop at all. The restaurant does all that for you. You only need to think about whether the... whether. The only so the restaurant does that and you only need to think about whether they'll like you do... What? Whether you feel like you do about what tastes nice where to buy from and the ethics of it all and where is responsible price if you've been before you don't have to decide again very very true and there's a lovely box of fresh uh veggies there for you to take <sighs> lovely um it says from these chefs um right not only are they trained but they don't give you that look that says we've cooked so you wash up and even if they are messy they are not but get this you don't care very very true and there's a, a cast of all the chefs that work at Hawksmoor 
lovely little profile pictures of the team there that are employed to serve you all that steaky goodness oh, i'm sweating that's getting really warm boom, 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 boom. lovely to see next tweet we have they aren't the only people in the restaurant people are there who are always pleased to see you when you come in uh, they do things like take your coat bring your food and check if you're okay they never shout your name up the stairs or make you feel like you're not good enough oh, i love it and that's the thing that i miss mostly right just being waited on right just being pampered uh, being made feel special by strangers right who are paid to do so i miss that so much honestly i think about it the other day once i go to a restaurant again and have a lovely steak and a glass of red wine i'm gonna give that server a big fat tip i'm gonna be so happy to be there again right any pleasantries just a little how are you hope you're well i'm gonna just divulge my life story and be like oh thank you for asking i've been really up <laughs> i've been really under the weather my hay fever has flared up a little bit and i've been <laughs> drinking way too much coffee during the day you know just kind of died <laughs> <laughs> verbal diarrhea to a complete stranger because i'm missing out on so much human contact like god damn it i miss it and look all their lovely faces right all these strangers who just look jovial and happy to see you happy to kind of give you their love happy to give you their hospitality they're trained in making you feel good about yourself as you're gouging and plum plundering yourself in their lovely steaky goodness oh another one at a restaurant no one raises an eyebrow and says already or another one if you fancy a drink well only if you had gone a bit far and even if that is and even if it's and even and even then it's for your own good and restaurants have almost every drink you can imagine and yet more trained professionals that's the other bit that's really lovely isn't it when you go into a restaurant and you don't know what you want to drink you don't know what you want to eat and you say to the person hey i like this and this sort of stuff okay oh yeah by the way if you go to a restaurant and you don't know what you want at least give them a, an idea of what you don't like right or the things that you do like just give them some sort of framework that they can work with and open some friends that you know have worked in hospitality before the most annoying thing is when people just don't have any idea and you somehow have to choose for them and then when you do they don't like it it's just you know one of the most preposterous things ever try and give them something to work with but i love just being like hey i'm eating this what do you think will pair well with this sort of um, meal that i'm eating they'll give you a couple of options it'll be a, a process of, of elimination and boom you get a new drink a new cocktail that you would have never imagined that you liked and suddenly you've got a new drink to add to your list of drinks that you like now imagine Something that you can make at home, something you can order somewhere else, something that you can come back and reorder with your friends and look cool and sophisticated, right? You go over and you beckon over your favorite waiter or waitress and say, hey, nice to see you again. They, ex you know, exchange the pleasantry with you, even if they don't remember who the hell you are. They know you're showing off to your friends, so they kind of indulge you. And then guess what? At the end of the day, you all tip them very, very well, and they're happy to see you the next time. <sighs> Miss it so much. And it continues. It says... They're basically really nice, clean, well-run places. They have people in them. They might uh, sound odd now, but you'll get used to it. Trust me. It's the future and it's glorious. <laughs> I love this post, man. It's a really good primer to kind of introduce people back to the concept of being in a restaurant. Because I think that's what happened in America, right? In America, they had a little spike. No, in America, they had a, a couple of, say, maybe a few weeks of no spiking cases, right? This was really... Um, against any kind of logic no one really understood why they were and they were anti-lockdown protesters there were obviously the riots and the protests that happened as a consequence of george floyd's untimely passing and no one could really understand why aren't the numbers spiking up nothing was nothing was really happening so a lot of restaurants t um, opened up sometimes against uh state rule so they could they could um take advantage of the tourism season or tourist season which was already ending they can make a bit of money and just be of service to their community and what actually happened was that a lot of the places had you know you know some cues the first couple of days or the first couple of weeks but then it sort of petered out a bit when the cases started to spike up again or when just people started to become a little bit more um hesitant about going out right they're a bit worried so a lot of these restaurants are not only going to have to just it's not it's not enough just reopening your doors you're going to have to somehow try and give consumers confidence try and make them feel assured that what you've done everything that you can to make the place safe and it's okay to go back in that's the most that's the hardest bit of the job, really. I think it's all well and good reopening everything and Boris saying, oh, you know, be responsible, oh, all this sort of stuff and um, uh, be alert. But it's really going to take a lot for the for us to collectively be okay to go back outside again. But I think this is a good way to start from Hawksmoor. Definitely a good way. It continues, uh, last one. It says, because in the end, restaurants aren't really about food. They're about people. The ones you love, the ones you work with, the ones you don't know, uh, the ones who are looking after you. And I know that Latter Group in particular are excited about the return to restaurants. Try it. A lovely heart. Look at that plate of food. Oh, give me that so much. A lovely steak there. Um, 
I can't watch that. I can't look at that too much. Oh, God. And that's so true. Such a good point, right? Restaurants aren't about food. The same with clubs. Clubs really aren't about... It's not really about the music, innit? It's about the people. Right? That's what um, I've learned my lesson when it comes to live streams online at the moment, right? Um, I've kind of been getting annoyed with them, right? They've they they been making me... Um, I just get pissed off when I watch them, really, right? Because I'm not allowed outside. I can't go to a nightclub anymore. Or none of us can. I'm not just saying it's to do with me, but... Because essentially, part of the reason why clubs are fun, because of the people, right? That's what makes watching Boiler Room fun. Seeing all of the Hmong that people in the crowd. Um, seeing the DJ Clang. Seeing um, one of the hosts sort of push the crowd back. All those things that you see in real life is what makes it fun. Um, you don't really, you know, I don't know. You don't really give a shit if somebody's just standing alone playing some music. Unless, I think the only way it'd work is if that was happening whilst we were at work and it was allowed to go out. I think having that in the background and having the ability to watch a live radio stream online as you're just sitting at home, as you're sitting at work, listening to the music in the background is great. But doing it just now, it's just like, oh, I don't know, man. But yeah, what do I know? Good, good, good uh, message from Hawksmoor. Thank you so much for it. We can't wait to get back to restaurants. And again, if you haven't been to the Hawksmoor, uh, one of the best steakhouses in the UK, definitely recommend you try it out. One of my favorite places to go to. A great place to celebrate an anniversary, celebrate a birthday, or just go get some dinner in the evenings. Because why not? You're not spending your money on anything else anyway, so you might as well treat yourself. <coughs> you know what I mean? You might as well. 